Hello guys, it's me, Trust About Mac Tro, 6498 here, and today I'm really going to be, be doing a review on uh, AW Battle of the Belts 5, and mostly the gameplay that I am going to be playing is Hitman 3, if you already know, but if if y'all did not know, I'll let y'all know, but I'm gonna really gonna begin this video as a gameplay. So if I do kill or do not kill the targets, then I might end it off how but anyway let's get started. So anyway, I just watched it the uh AW Battle of the Belts and really three matches, three cards, not too bad, but I'm really going to say this like I really love wrestling if you're a wrestling fan then I get it but it's all right but I'm a I'm not like the biggest wrestling fan of all time I'm really going to give give this video my best opinion about the matches what should have been and how could have been better but you know but anyway I want to start off with the first match and the uh, claim versus that would the Acclaim versus Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lito. And the rating that I give this match is... Really, I give this match a... Like, a, I'll give like a 7. A 7.5 to an 8. Like, damn. And... I'm saying it's not too bad, but it was a good match. I loved it. It was interesting. And... It was really, really a good match. The distractions was just, was very perfect. I loved the distraction. I loved the whole bar match. It was very good. It went, played off after AW Dynamite, if you didn't watch that. And, really, it was a good match. It was fun. It was interesting. But, it was okay. But, I mean, for the claim, I'm glad that they uh, won the titles back. I'm happy for them. But I hope that in the near future for AEW, for them, for the tag team championships, I hope that they can have faces it like a dominant team and hope that they can face somebody, face a team that's very strong, very dangerous, very tougher. Because I'm not saying like, well, it's, it's an okay match, but it's okay that they defeat, nah. You having the titles, I'm really gonna be saying titles all this whole video, but you have it you have a champion, you have to let them know that you got to really defend it seriously because if they don't like fight nobody with like a top like a top person in that match, they're gonna really gonna feel not that dominant. They're not gonna feel that strong. They're not gonna feel like really that very tough in that match so that's why I say a 7 to a 7.5 to an 8 to that match the second match uh, Jay Cargill versus Sky Blue uh, that match was okay I give that match I give that match like a I'll say like hmm, I'll say like to a 5 to a 6.5 ish it was okay match it's shocking that how Jay Cargill is still the reigning defending TBS championship and and she's still like the under like she's still a defending champion which is okay I mean it's not too bad but she needs to at least fight somebody stronger like I said about the claim she need to face somebody stronger difficult and because if she keep I don't know what AW uh her story is with her I know that she's trying to like put her off with the baddies they broken up or whatever I never watched AW like that but after watching like that like her title uh defense I really saw like a little glimpse of like the story a little bit but at the same time I won't say that 
I'm not saying it's interesting. He got knocked the F out, bro. And, uh... But, yeah, but he... But, but yeah, I'm just saying that Jake Cargill needs at least to face someone dominant. Someone need to face someone stronger. But, all I'm saying is that if they do not at least have her face somebody stronger... Or either they gonna have her, they gonna she gonna be like the next Brock Lesnar in AEW. She gonna be like, but in the feet she gonna be the next female Brock Lesnar. Cause if they try, cause if she went, if she have a whole winning streak to like 100, and she hold that title for like two or three years, she gonna be boring. Her story gonna be boring, and that title gonna become boring too. So it's all. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But yeah. Six, two or five. Not a bad match, but it's okay. But I hope that she faced somebody more stronger. I hope her story can be a little better, and for the title. But yeah, that's it. But now the most, the most match that I really love, the main event, Kid Sabian versus Orange Cassidy for the AW Atlantic Championship match. And what, what do you think of? What I think about that match? That match was pretty good. I really loved it. It was great. It was excellent. The problem with that match for me was the distractions. I hate distractions now in wrestling. It's stupid. It's dumb. And it's retarded, bro. If you watch wrestling now and you just say, if you watch wrestling and you just like, like for example, like Raw, SmackDown, NXT, AEW, Impact, or New Japan, and the only thing that they do now is distractions or the low blow. That's the only thing that they do now. And I'm really not saying it's bad, but I mean, it's getting really annoying because it's not... It's, it's very annoying with the distractions, man. That's all I'm saying. But other than that... But all I'm saying is that... It's... It's not really not that interesting, but all I say it was the gut match... I recommend watching it. I give that match to like a eight, a eight point five to a nine. It was perfect. It was good. I loved the story of it. It was very dominant, and Orange Cassidy had a very dominant champion. Kip Sabian was a good, tougher opponent. I think they're gonna have a good story with with, with both of them. That's what I'm really thinking about. They're really gonna have a good story between them. I think Kip Sabian going might. Take the champion off of uh, Orange Cassidy. I'm thinking about, and I think Meryl gonna come out soon. And I think he gonna defeat Kip Sabian, and he might win the the AW Atlantic Championship. I'm really behind that story. I'm really behind that storyline. So if they do the right thing and put the story really good, but but yeah, that's really all I got, really. But other than that. If it's worth, if it's worth watching, if it's worth watching, yes, I'll say you can watch it. It's pretty good. It's not too bad. The only thing I'll say is that the Jay Cargill match, it will be a little okay. But other than that, the Clay match and the Orange Cassidy versus Kiss Saving match was very good. But yeah, that's all I got. I hope you guys like this. Uh, bless that like button. Uh, subscribe like I said in my bio of my YouTube channel I do it for fun do it for dumb stuff but this is my review of AW Battle of the Belts 5 what y'all think should have been a little better should have been more dominant but yeah I really didn't do much in Hitman 3 I was just really talking about what was going on in the show but I might do some later in the future video might kill some people or I might do another video but I don't know but I hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe. And think of happy thoughts, positive thoughts. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.